What's up guys, I'm Chiggs and you are watching Chiggs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another brand new powerful mini Android TV box. So this is the latest mini M8S Pro TV box. So as usual, we'll begin with a quick unboxing followed by a series of tests testing 4K videos, HD streaming, gaming and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the S912 Octa-Core running at 2 GHz. The GPU is a Mali 820. You've got 3 GB of DDR4 RAM, 32 GB of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi supporting BGN and AC, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 Marshmallow supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and this supports HLG and HDR10. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with the instruction manual. It's more of a quick setup guide, a UK power adapter, a HDMI cable, remote control, the Mini M8S Pro. So here it is guys. Wow, that's nice. So this is a nice powerful little TV box here. Um, I love the design. You've got, a, you've got a matte finish. It says Mini M8S Pro and you've got all the specs written here um, in a shiny black finish. Um, with a black trim that looks pretty cool actually it's nice so at the front at the front you got more shiny black on the right we have a micro sd card slot and a usb port and if we keep going you've got your optical out your network lan port hdmi another usb port and the power socket um, if we keep going there's nothing else on that side and we're back to the front again at the bottom of the unit this is what it looks like but you notice there's no events on this unit but this unit actually has very advanced heat sink. So you've got aluminium heat sink. According to the description on their site, after playing a game for over an hour, your temperature will actually stay nice and cool under 35 degrees, which is quite amazing. So you've got some great technology in this box. So to give you guys an idea of the size of this unit, I'm going to bring in the H96 Max, which is also quite a small unit. So matching them up, they're more or less the same size. So you can see the Mini M8S is just slightly bigger by a millimetre or two. Before we get this connected up and begin our tests, I just want to quickly show you guys something. This is the latest multi-touch wireless keyboard, the H18. So I'm also going to be checking this keyboard out with this TV box. And we're going to find out how good it is as well. So here it is. This keyboard is unique because it uh, supports multi-touch. So as you can see there, the whole thing here is a, is a mouse pad. The whole of this keyboard is actually a mouse pad. You flick the button and you can change between mouse pad and keyboard options. And then you can start typing. So very, something very unique here and I definitely want to check this out to see how good it is. Um, it comes with a USB dongle. Having a USB dongle means it will work on any device. Android TV box, PC, Mac, uh, games console. Uh, it will work anywhere basically. And you've got a charger cable. I'll be fully testing this keyboard out and I'll let you guys know at the end what I think of it. So let's get everything set up and I'll be right back. So here is the home screen for the Mini M8S Pro. So we've got a completely new look here and it looks quite nice. You've got these big icons, these are folders and you'll be able to customize these, add and remove your favorite apps. You've got the date and time in the top corner, the weather. If we click on settings and go to about, you'll see you have Android 6.0.1 and that is Marshmallow. And go to storage, you've got 32 gigs of internal storage and 25 gigs are available to use. So let's have a quick look at the app drawer. So these are all the apps on the system. I've not installed anything. This is everything you get as standard. Okay, so I've plugged in my USB drive. The first test I'm going to run is playing 4K videos from USB drive. So let's open up Movie Player and let's go ahead and play the first video.
You will soon find out. So that was playing 4K and HD video samples from a USB drive. Let's move on now to the YouTube test. So you are able to play a maximum resolution of 1080p in YouTube. But, um, I can... I can be your half-girlfriend? white light it was more like pure energy how is she playing the piano now so that was the youtube test let's move on now to the gaming test so this is the game controller i use for all my android tv games this is the g600 controller i'll put the links in the description box below so you can check it out let's continue with the game tests <laughs> In the Wi-Fi test, this box has achieved a total download speed of 35.06 and an upload speed of 21.56 megabits per second. And I am using my home 40 meg broadband connection. So this box achieved a total benchmark score of 40,183. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart. This chart simply shows you which are the highest overall performing boxes. However, when choosing a TV box, you must also consider other factors such as the home screen, Android version, size, appearance, and of course, the price. So as you can see, the Mini M8S Pro has taken position 13 in the octa-core chart with a respectful score of 40,183. It'll be interesting to see which TV box I review next and what overall performance it will get. Please be aware the prices shown are just a guideline as they are constantly changing on a daily basis. So there you have it guys, that was the Mini M8S Pro. As you saw, everything ran nice and smooth. I experienced no issues or lag during my entire test of this TV box. The original remote control that comes with this box is good, responsive and does the job. However, I also used this new design mini wireless keyboard and in my experience it was awesome. It's got a very nice large trackpad and a full QWERTY keyboard and I have to say it was very accurate and comfortable to use. The Mini M8S Pro is a great all-round TV box with excellent Wi-Fi speeds and an overall very well designed and fast TV box. Also, after the full review and the test, the TV box was not hot to the touch, so this box does keep nice and cool and was very stable. So with that being said, what I'll do is I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out, and if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day.